quiet night in the town of Brunswick, Georgia, after a verdict was handed down this afternoon. Earlier today, cheers heard outside and even inside the Glynn County Courthouse as the three men charged in the murder of Ahmad Arbery learned their fate. We, the jury, find the defendant, Travis McMichael, guilty. Count two, felony murder. We, the jury, find the defendant, Greg McMichael, guilty. Count three, felony murder. We, the jury, find the defendant, William R. Bryan, guilty. The three men all leaving the courthouse today in custody of the sheriff's office. After deliberating since yesterday morning, the jury handed down its verdict early this afternoon. Each of the three men faced nine different counts in Arbery's murder. That happened in February 2020, and it was the cell phone video that made national headlines, showing the shooting death of Arbery in the Satilla Shores neighborhood in Brunswick, Georgia. We have been covering the story since that video was released, and for some, today's verdict brought closure. We head to News for Jack's reporter Renee Beninati, who's getting reaction from those in Brunswick tonight. Renee? Mary, many say that Arbery's murder transformed this small city of Brunswick. His legacy will live on in murals like this one to changes in laws, all sparked by his death. We, the jury, find the defendant, Travis McMichael, guilty. With these three convictions, guilty. A painful chapter closes for the family of Ahmad Arbery. Now, Quez, which, I, which you know him as Ahmad, I know him as Quez. Yes. He will now rest in peace. Yes. Hundreds celebrating outside the courthouse Wednesday, crying, hugging, and cheering. Because this fight for justice hasn't been easy. Nearly 20 months to the day, he was gunned down while jogging. This video and Arbery story shared around the world, also putting the small town of Brunswick in the national spotlight. This is just the start of another chapter going on justice, you know, our people been going through a lot, a lot for decades and decades. And to see this come, it's a lot of justice and I'm proud to see it. Now starts a new chapter of healing for our Barry's loved ones. But there'll be the memories that now you can talk about and smile versus the memories of talking and crying. And for the community transformed by his death. I think it's going to shed some light, you know, it opened the eyes up more that times is changing. Does this give you hope for more change in the future? Absolutely. Arbery enacting change and leaving a mark on many. Arbery's aunt tells me the past 20 months have been an emotional roller coaster for this family, but they are thankful to have finally gotten justice. Reporting live in Brunswick, Renee Beninati, Channel 4, the local station.